So, how to make a crud in a kill? Uh, to begin with, we need to choose what you're going to be doing. Uh, here, I'm going to be doing a a message board essentially. You post messages with your name on side, and people can look all the messages. Uh, it's a simple, no database, no fancy database involved, just a bit of JSON. And but before that. Uh, please don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button uh, and enable the notifications. Uh, all of the source that you can see here, it's going to be on my GitHub on the description below. So let's begin with, I already installed uh, the framework that we are going to be using, which is Opium. Opium is a framework Sinatra-like. Sinatra uh, you can think about it as Node.js, Express, like Express from Node.js. Uh, and Sinatra itself, it's a bit of the same idea. It's simple, and if you know, if you uh, saw one, you're going to notice the sim similarities. So first thing that we need to do is add it as a library on on June, and then we can start by opening Opium, and let's get it to to run. You can use Opium has this module called app, and you can do app pipe app run multicore. And to run it, it's going to be easy, June exec, turn up x, and it's probably running. Let's look. Uh, Opium is maintained by Rudy Greenberg, uh, as you can see here. Uh, Rudy does a lot of stuff in OCaml, nice guy. But let's find out which part, oh, it's three, uh, 3k. So yeah, to ensure that our server, we can close, still. Oh, yeah, I stop it, I can run it again. It's running. So, okay, first we need to define what is going to be our storage. Uh, our storage here is going to be a, first, I, wa I want to make it a, an in-memory storage. So essentially you are going to have messages into a reference, which is a list. Uh, and these messages are going to be essentially all the messages that the users can see. But yeah, let's start with defining what a message is. A message to me uh, here is just the name of the user, so it's a username. Uh, let's go with, with this, and also the body of the message, string. And yeah, that that's it. <laughs> that's it for now. We need to define a uh, a new root, which is going to be slash messages or something like this. So like messages. To do it uh, in Opium, you can use app dot post. Uh, or act of get. You can look all the methods, HTTP methods here. We're going to first uh, define the read of these messages. So like slash get slash messages. It's going to be app get the read all messages. And that's our read from our thread. We are not going to have an actual U here, so it's just create, read, and delete. Uh, maybe not even delete. Let's see. So first things we need to go and see that root is this type. So it accepts a string, a hoc re request t. Rock is essentially this minimal interface of Opium. It's simple and it returns a rock response LWT. LWT is equivalent to it's a promise from a camel. So essentially it's uh, async code and here. We have a request as input in a response, async response as output. And you can see it returns app t to app t. So essentially, you're going to see how cute it is, but we can do something like this. And that's going to be our messages. And here we can do a request. Uh, let's ignore a request for now. Let's try to create a response. A response uh, of plain text. So we are going to just respond it like so. And I I think I need to define, uh, oh yes, so it needs to be something like this, return of response, and we can do read all messages. So we pipe the app to read. For now, that's going to be a problem with uh, references and stuff like this. Let's try to execute it and see on messages, messages. X, yay, that's great. X is exactly what we are logging uh, here. So our first root is already working. And then uh, we need to be able to read and serialize it. 
Uh, to read and serialize, you're going to need, uh, I'm going to be using PPX arrive in your JSON. Your JSON is this library in your camel that it handles, it handles JSONs, essentially. Uh, JSONs in, in uh, strongly typed and statically typed languages are a problem because a bunch of reasons. So we need to install it. I forgot. Uh, it should be it should be quite fast. And we need to add the prep process as PPS, PPX arriving your JSON. And oh my gosh, I pressed the wrong button on the wrong time. Uh, I need to run it again because I did. Yeah, this happens when you do live coding. So essentially here we go easy to build watch. Now we have uh, your JSON installed. Uh, here is uh, APPX is mostly like a deriving PPX in your camera is mostly used like this. This essentially is going to generate a pair of functions. We need to restart the limit server, which which has the signature. Oh, it's a bad signature. So you can see up here, but essentially it is a message to your JSON and message of your JSON. So it can serialize and deserialize. Uh, serializing uh, is just like message to JSON itself. It works. Deserializing, uh, it may fail because the user may put the wrong type there. But here we can start. Let's define that. Okay, so we know that messages are going to be uh, like messages. So we can say messages in, and then we need to serialize those messages. So let's say JSON. And a trick that you can do with your JSON is something like this, I think. And you can say message list of messages in. Isn't it like this? To JSON. Mm. Let's find out. PPX arriving. Uh, not this one. PPX arriving. Your JSON. It was this one. To your JSON, there was a. Oh, got it. So it's essentially this. And then that's going to create a serializer, and you can see that it returns this, which is a JSON, and it also reduces the type here. So, and then you can do off response of JSON and say JSON here. So we are just returning it. Let's try to see what happens. Here it should be an empty an empty JSON. Yes, that's it. So let's try to add a message and uh, with a post. So let it's hard today. So post message. It's app dot post. It's going to be messages, and we are going to have a request. Uh, here it's a bit of a uh, it's a bigger problem because then we need to handle our request. Our request is going to be. Uh, we need to use the request module to JSON. I'm going to use the simplest option, which is defining to JSON ex exception. Please don't use it. Uh, that's going to raise an exception if it is not a valid JSON. You can imagine the user putting, let's say, a number here. So request, and then yeah, uh, request, and we. You can see that the request is an LWTT of your JSON. Uh, we are going to define so post of messages. We are going to define a bit of a helper, which is a let monadic. Something like this in a camel should be enough for, for us. So you can say this, and then here you, you need to return. For now, let's keep return unit. It's going to uh, be complaining with me. But okay, let's copy and do response of link text. Hey. So, yeah, and here you can see that now it's just the JSON itself. Uh, I can pipe it and do the same thing. So it's a request, and here we need to do a message of your JSON with the request. So yeah, uh, let's call this input JSON, and here, and that's going to be our input message. As you can see, uh, it's a result because it may has an error. Uh, here I'm going to just handle it explicitly by doing match with if it is if it is uh, a valid message so okay message we are going to just do some stuff not now if it is an error we're going to just uh, return 
I'm going to just raise invalid argument with this error. So like this. Uh, what does that mean is that if an error happened, uh, for example, uh, the JSON is not a message, it's going to raise an exception. Again, you can handle it in a better way, but for now, we just use exceptions. So that's our input message. We need to add it to the message just then. So like it's going to be messages, input message of messages, basic mutation. And yeah, that's it. If, if that's okay, uh, response i think it's make and we can just say the status to be okay isn't it or maybe i should oh yeah that's it so let's run it and i need to do a post for this i'm going to open postman please don't be waiting it was not waiting thank you uh, it should be HTTP 3000 and messages, so we want to say a post, and let's send it uh, a number, just to see what happens. Uh, it's invalid, I'm not sure why it's invalid, did I? Oh, right, uh, I forgot to register it, so, yeah. Now, if I go here, internal server, yeah, not, not a great ma error message, you know, but okay. Let's define it as a JSON. And try same stuff not great message error message but it's okay let's define a username my name is Eduardo and let's define the how do I code it the body okay so the body as doo -doo -doo, something like this and send it and yeah uh, like it should not be it should be empty body and stuff like this but you know and if we go here the message is not here so why is the message not here? Mm. We added the message here, definitely. And we are doing the reference every time. Oh, right. It's because we are using run multicar. If you're using, if you're not using a proper uh, database, that's not going to work. Run multicar essentially spawn multiple threads. Uh, here I created the message and then we can go here and see. Uh, let's create another message, which is the true two. And yeah, essentially create and read. Uh, let's make it like a permanent storage so that we can run it on using mult uh, like multiple cars and stuff like this. Uh, easiest way is to have a module. We mostly abstract over data in a camel using a module. So I'm going to create a storage module, storage.ml. But first I'm actually going to create a storage MLI which is a, an interface in OCaml, and I'm going to copy my my stuff here. And what I need to be able to do is uh, insert message. So like insert message is going to, to give me uh, a message and it's going to return LWTT of like unit LWTT. Oh, wait, wrong file. <laughs> that explains. Uh, and also, we should be able to read all messages, which is also here, but it's also async, so like this. Uh, why it's async? It's because we are going to be doing I/O, and if we want to maximize our, our throughput, we should we should do it. So first things first, let's move our storage logic to here. So let's copy this. Let's copy here, and then that was. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure if I was going to call this our storage logic, but you you can say for sure. So that's going to be unit and then LW2 return of messages for now. And here we can do insert message. It's going to be a message uh, and it's essentially going to do this. So this followed by LW2 return of unit. Uh, okay. And then we should be using it instead of using this logic here. So again, here it's going to be storage, insert message of input message. Not sure if that's the name that I, I gave it. Oh, it's complaining because read all messages are not, uh, it should be a list of message. Then. Yeah, now it's right. And on our cred, uh, that's also not going to work. So we need to do storage. Uh, read all messages like so 
in here and that's going to be a list of storage message uh, that needs to be storage dot message then and here it should be storage dot message because remember uh, two types are not the same and let's just ensure it's still working send and then we can press yeah it's working so now we need to make it per uh, like permanent especially by making it permanent we can then use something like run multicar which is going to give us a nice throughput and yeah so here essentially when doing this we should have a file name i'm going to call it database file essentially messages.json not something i would recommend you to have in production but it's going to probably work so i need to do lwtio and it should be read file try file how how was it i forgot uh something regarding with file yes with file so using with file we can do uh, it's going to give us an, an input and then we can read it uh, entirely so like here it's going to be the mode the mode I forgot the mode itself the mode is input so with file mode is input and then we can see here so yeah then we need to give it a name and here it's going to be the database file but also it's expecting a callback which is where our code is going to be so fun and that's going to be input channel so that you can read the data and we'll do return of unit something like this input channel is something that can be can be read so like read uh, lines read value we can do a lot of stuff i'm going to just use read lines and string concat i think that's the easiest way for me so like here and that's going to be input channel and then lwt stream probably there is a better way to uh to to do it so we do this and yeah so here i can say let's copy that uh here we can say let of uh database string like this and as you can see that's a string list that's simple and then we need to convert it to a json so i'm actually going to call it read json so probably like this and yeah here we're, we are going to do read json and this is a database uh, string which then should be we need to transform it to a json your json has this helper which is safe from string uh, essentially here we can do database string but to do it because it needs to be a new line you can say new line like this in and database not file data, database string and that's going to be our json so that's the json itself we need to say read messages oh, well that's actually what the code below it was doing so we go here uh, and say x so that's going to raise an exception if it is not a json so json database json and then we need to say message of your json it's actually as we know your json message list actually so we can say this and do database json which is in uh he's complaining uh it's off your json actually of your json again if it is a result uh we are going to say it doesn't matter to me so if it is this so it's an error error i'm going to just say raise uh invalid argument error not sure why and if it is an if it is okay we just say a will to return of messages and yes that gives us the reading and now we need to do the writing to do the writing it's about the same logic uh, but first we need to read the JSON so here it's going to be messages so messages read all messages in and yeah so we now have our 
all, all messages. So we can do let messages okay. And we we just need to start it. So how do we start it? Uh, about the same. I'm not a specialist in LDC. Yeah. So let's say it's output. At this time, it's going to be output channel. The great thing here is there is no way this can fail. Well, there is a better ways this can fail, but no trivial way uh, to make it fail. So here it's going to be right. Uh, I can do write from string. I think it's the best one. Uh, I'm going to use what? Write line. Can I do? Maybe it's output. Hmm. Well, I'm going to just do write. Oh, yeah, right. So write, and we need to transform it to a JSON. So messages uh, string, which is going to be simply messages your JSON save to string and then it's yeah that's we need to first do uh, to your JSON message list here and then we do your JSON to string and you can see that's a string I'm going to use pretty uh, to string because that's pretty and then we just write it uh, LWC write on output channel so output channel and then messages to string I think that's about it. And if we run it, yeah. So let's try to, to write a message here. Uh, send internal server error. Why? Why did I do wrong this time? Hmm. Let's try to debug it. Uh, print on line ABC. So yeah, that's classic debugging. And we go to Postman and run with send. And we can see it in like this. Oh, right, the file does not exist. So let me create messages. Messages. Okay. You can see send. Still same problem. Weird. Really weird. Uh, it should be probably here. Got it. So now same stuff. Why it's failing? Why did I, did I do wrong? It should be a list, not... <laughs> uh, and then send, yay, message added. Can I go here and look? Yes. Can I restart it and also run it? Yes. Uh, so now it should have two messages. And now we can do some fancier stuff by doing not this project, by going here and doing run multi-car that's not actually like a camel multi-car but that's multi-car in the sense that it's running multi-car and yeah that's our, our crud it's also like create and read but both endpoints are working nicely I can say to do like this and we can easily say in, in real time it's adding here and it's adding on the top which is the right thing that you would expect from a message board uh, let's try some benchmarks Actually, yeah. So, for example, let's say messages, and let's run it for ten seconds. It's awkward. I know. I'm not going to skip this because I, I don't know how to do it. And how many requests per second? Uh, yeah, a lot. So that was it. You can do Opium. You can actually do uh, proper databases, but I didn't want to set up a database. But yeah, uh, feel free to smash that like button and subscribe and also enable the notifications code below. Thank you for your time and have a nice day.